Remember a few weeks ago when I said that your TrueCrypt protected hard drive was safe? Um, yeah, that was before I discovered Evil Maid. This episode of Tech Shop is brought to you by Amazon. Welcome to episode 32 of Tech Shop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, aka twitter.com slash Pablo. This week, we're going way back to episode 28, where we looked at a few tools designed to break into your TrueCrypt volumes. These three tools I gave you either brute forced your password to your standard TrueCrypt volume, or was designed to perform a cold boot-like attack on your fully encrypted hard drive. The tool I'm going to give you today is way cooler than all three, in my opinion. It's designed as a tool that runs on a USB key and can be used at a hotel, for instance, by the cleaning staff. You know, those nondescript people with physical access to your room. No problem though, right? While you're out grabbing some dinner, your laptop is safe, sitting on the complimentary desk in your room, powered off. Good luck trying to break into that. Well, that is the exact type of situation this type of tool that we're talking about today was designed for. It's called Evil Maid. Before I go any further though, let's take a minute to thank our sponsor. Need a new computer? Amazon has it. Need some toilet paper? Amazon has it. Want to read the latest best-selling book? Amazon has it. Amazon is literally your one-stop shop for everything you can possibly ever want online. They also resell items from some of your favorite online retailers like Tiger Direct. Except oftentimes with no taxes and cheaper shipping. Plus, if you sign up with Amazon Prime with a low cost of only $79 per year, you get free two-day shipping on millions of different items. Everything is delivered right to your door. No more driving to the store for your odds and ends, taking away from valuable Xbox time, shop in your underwear like you always wanted to do. Go to amazon.techchop.com. You'll get the same experience and prices plus a small percentage of your purchase goes to help out TechChop. It's win-win for everybody. Visit amazon.techchop.com now and get your Amazon shop on. Bookmark amazon.techchop.com for all your future purchases and continue to help out the show. That's amazon.techchop.com. So let's review our situation. You're on a business trip and being security conscious, you have encrypted your laptop's hard drive with TrueCrypt's full hard drive encryption. You trek into your hotel room, but you haven't had anything to eat. So you head on out to your restaurant, leaving your laptop in your hotel room. It's powered off and protected with TrueCrypt encryption. What could possibly go wrong? A lady by the name of Joanna Rutkowska developed the thing that can go wrong back in 2009. She developed a proof of concept tool that fits on a USB key called Evil Made. What it does is infects the TrueCrypt bootloader with a keylogger. So the next time the victim boots up and logs in, their TrueCrypt password is captured and saved in the unencrypted bootloader area of the disk. That password can then be retrieved by booting up the laptop to the Evil Maid thumb drive again. It is called Evil Maid because this is the perfect type of attack for someone in a cleaning crew or posing as a cleaning crew could use to steal the information on your fully encrypted laptop protected with TrueCrypt. They enter your room, infect the bootloader, and leave. The next day, they come back and steal your laptop. But now, they have the password to actually see what's on it. You can download the Evil Made USB image from the link below. To write the image to USB, it's easier to use the dd command below from a Linux machine. Once written, boot up your TrueCrypt protected laptop with your USB key. After Evil Made loads, press E to start. It will detect the TrueCrypt bootloader and write its necessary files. When that is complete, just power off the laptop and wait for the victim to come back and boot it up. After the victim has booted up and entered their password, now when you boot up with Evil Maid like we did before and press E, it will see that the bootloader has already been infected and will look for the passphrase. When found, it will display it as shown. Easy peasy, right? It's important to note that I tested this on both the current version of TrueCrypt, which is currently 7.1 Alpha, and Evil Maid corrupted the bootloader. I tried it on version 6.3 and it worked like a charm. Therefore, it's safe to say that you're relatively protected from this attack if you upgrade to the latest version of TrueCrypt. I emailed Joanna Rakowska, the creator of Evil Maid, and told her of my issue with 7.1 Alpha and asked her if she was planning on updating Evil Maid. 
She said, quote, We're not planning on any updates. This is because our intention with Evil Maid was to open people's eyes to certain types of attacks, not to create a pen test or hacking tool. This demonstration goal has been achieved with great success. Damn shame, right? I mean, it really is a pretty badass tool. Therefore, I think this is the perfect time for me to mention that the source code for Evil Maid is available at the link below. If any of you coders want to take up the baton and run with the Evil Maid project, now is the time. It would be great to see future versions of this tool out there. So how can you protect yourself? The quick response is to upgrade to the latest version of TrueCrypt, but if one of you breathes life back into this project, that might not be a permanent solution. You could use two-factor authentication like key files and a password. Evil Maid can't currently do anything about that. That being said, one of you could possibly take the source code and add the functionality to capture the final decryption key instead of just the password. Just an idea. You can also put a BIOS boot up password in. If someone blanks out the BIOS password to infect your boot partition with Evil Maid, then you'll surely notice and you can change your TrueCrypt password and restore the TrueCrypt boot partition with your recovery disk. However, the attacker could remove your hard drive and put it in their own laptop to perform the attack. In which case, your BIOS password doesn't mean squat. Your final three options include hardware locks that can potentially be picked, or you can just keep your laptop with you at all times. Or you can use Joanna Rutkowska's tool called Anti-Evil Maid, which you can read more about at the link below. That's all I have for this episode. If you have any questions about Evil Maid or have a better or more up-to-date tool that does the same thing, let us know in the comments or hit us up on our Facebook page. Don't forget to like, fave, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time right here on Tech Shop. Tech Shop is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. TechPodcast.com. If it's tech, it's here.